What's the motherfucking deal? Welcome to The Den. I am your host, Ed Honcho. This is social commentary from a realistic perspective. Uh, the best conversation on the internet live every night, 10 p.m. Central, live every morning at 10 a.m. Central, weekday mornings. I know the last couple of days have had some stuff going on in the morning, so we weren't able to get those, but we will be live tonight or whatever night that you see this. If it's during the week, Monday through Friday, then, you know, whatever day. Let's get into this case because... I know I'm a little bit late, but somebody just kind of uh, enlightened me because it's funny with a lot of these stories. When it happens and the media can capitalize on it and push it and make it seem like a big agenda, then, you know, they, they push it all the way out there. And this is why I have a lot of problems with the media and what they do. But then when it turns out that either something is not true or the case gets resolved or whatever it may be, and eh, it's kind of swept under the rug. They only use it for sensationalism. So I didn't come across this story. Thankful to someone, I, and I forgot their name, I apologize, who uh, sent a link in the comments. And I'll make sure to include the link to that video. Uh, that this case is, well, the suspect is under arrest. Uh, we talked about... Malaysia Booker, a few months back in Dallas, Booker got a uh, beat down from a group of individuals for allegedly initiating a hit and run. You know, hit someone's car, tried to run off, that person pulled a gun on him apparently. A uh, lot of stuff going on with that. And I made some comments initially in that video that a lot of people from the LGBT, the rest of the letter community, uh, didn't care for it. They said I was callous, I was insensitive, but all I was doing was being honest. I never said anything um, disrespectful in my opinion. I just talked about what I saw. And in that video, Booker was aggressive, uh, confronting a crowd of people. And then what happened after that was uh, questionable at best. Should it have happened the way it did? No. Um, but I said something about maybe there's a stigma, maybe there's a a an image that this person has in that community. And again, start off a hit and run, that's not gonna put you on good terms with anybody. So a lot of details have come out. You know, since then, maybe about a month or so later, a very unfortunate incident happened and Malaysia Booker was killed, okay? And if y'all don't know, Malaysia Booker is transgender. And Malaysia Booker was killed, unfortunately. And then I said, well, I don't believe that this situation was tied to the previous situation and they attack me. Of course it is, yeah, yeah, it is, it is. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of those comments are deleted now or some of those people, because there was several uh, transgender people who said I was, again, being callous. Of course it was tied to the same thing. It was the same guy, he did it. And they, and I said, I just don't think so. It was about almost 25, 30 minutes away from the original incident happened where the body was found, just things didn't add up to me. And again, this is not about me being right. This is about just kind of speaking on it, but I do want to clarify this because uh, I wonder if these same people are going to come back and attack me and say that I'm insensitive or I didn't care. Because it's not about that. Whether I <clears throat> agree or disagree with your lifestyle, all life is precious. But sometimes you can put yourself in scenarios that are going to make it more likely that your life gets taken from you. Well, anyway, this gentleman here in the background, this side, uh, is allegedly the killer of Malaysia Booker. Uh, Malaysia was found shot. Now, let's kind of get into the details. And, and I'll tell you why some of the things I said initially that I thought that they actually were true. So let, let's kind of talk about this. And, and some of the people in that area, they knew it. They swear they knew all the details and personal family members and things like this. And I asked them to share, yet they refused. Anyway, let's get into the story and, you know, the unfortunate conclusion, because it doesn't involve just uh, Booker. There were other transgender people who were killed by the same person or allegedly maybe they, they just they, they I don't know he may have been on a spree so suspect in transgender this is from CBS uh in transgender woman's death a potential serial killer police say so we're gonna I'm gonna read kind of skim through I'm not gonna get to all of his two articles I want to share then I'm gonna give a little bit more of my thoughts on that and why I felt the way I did initially when I first started talking about this story from the beating to the you know the outcome of the murder um and I'd love to know your comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. Make sure you comment below and make sure you follow on all the proper social medias. Police detectives say they've arrested a potential serial killer, uh, Kendra LaVar Lyles, 34. Another article says he was 33. Anyway, uh, these, when the national media gets this stuff, the articles are never accurate. It's always different information. Kids ages change, people ages change, whatever. Um, <clears throat> analyzing phone records, detectives say they learned that Lyles in the same area that where Booker was picked up as well as the scene of the shooting death <clears throat> the same day. 
Booker's father, Pierre, says the arrest brings some relief but will not bring back his child. Now, Booker's father encouraged and supported and all of this stuff. And, and as we get into more details, I'm going to speak on him in just a second. But now notice what it says, picked up. Think about that. In April, Booker was the victim of an unrelated beating, even though everybody swore up and down, everybody in the comment section said, oh, it was related, you know it was. It was just so much hate that was happening, which I don't believe is true. Uh, <clears throat> right now, it's currently Pride Month, so obviously it can't be so much hate that you, you know, that there's just nothing happening. Um, they were said that were attackers uh, use homophobic slurs, a lot of things. The, the beating is kind of irrelevant now, you know. Um... But it was unfortunate that that happened, and then, you know, a month later this happened. It was a very traumatic last month of life. So Booker was brought in. She spoke out and, and, and did a bunch of things for, I guess, the recognition of, of the violence that's happening against transgender people in Dallas. Because I think there's been two or three in Dallas specifically that have been killed just this year. Obviously, this man is behind uh, a few of them. So is this all on society? Is this the public that just hates transgenders, or is there a singular individual who is targeting these types of people for whatever reason. And I think that this man has a problem probably with his own sexual orientation or something of that nature as to why he's doing these things. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, <clears throat> so as far as been charged with three counts of murder, according to Max Green of the Dallas Police Department, police say he might be connected to additional murders, to including the uh, of another transgender He's a person of interest in the death of Chanel Lindsay, who was killed just days before his arrest. As for the other case, we continue to investigate it. We'll look to see if there are ties to Lyle's those other cases. Um, the teacher will look to see if there's a connection between the shooting deaths of Booker and Traylon Brown, who identified as Brittany White, as well as the non-fatal stabbing of another transgender. Uh, Lyle's does not have an attorney being held without bond. So obviously you see this man is targeting transgenders. For what reason? There is an issue. Now, let's be honest about something, and I want y'all to think about it, because you see a lot of people in these particular neighborhoods, low-income, impoverished neighborhoods, they can't really have a lot going on. I'm not saying that they're not working or anything like this. So they do additional things to supplement their income, especially if uh, a person is transitioning or something like that. That requires surgeries and, and, and hormones and whatever else goes into the whole package. But the thing about that is those things cost money. Can't be cheap. So how does a person make that money? If, you know, they have other bills and things to take care of, you know, living their everyday life. Well, let's talk about it. Second article says, a uh, man accused of killing Malaysia Booker, two others had her cell phone after her death police say. So that's the title. Um, updated a few days ago to revise details. Um, which is stupid. I don't know if everybody like, I, at this point you track cell phone anywhere if, if I don't know why you would keep that but I don't know why you would kill somebody in the first place but if you're going to do that then why keep the cell phone? Um, <clears throat> the suspect in Booker's fatal shooting two other recent slangs had the cell phone after he was killed last month police say. This is a much better picture than the picture I had of, but it's still rough. Again, now this one says uh, 33 faces three counts of murder relating in the Collin County Jail Friday without bail. He's uh, also accused in the deaths of uh, Leticia Grant and Kenneth, I don't know, Chichoki, Chichaki, I don't, I don't want to fuck that up. But it's unfortunate. Like I said, a lot of people have died at the hands of this man, and that's, that's disgusting. It's unfortunate. It really is. Um... Authorities have not pub publicly offered a motive in Booker's slavery. Police released arrest warrant affidavits Thursday afternoon details in all three murder cases. And I, I got an idea, and we'll talk about that. Booker, last article, Booker was 23. This article, Booker is <clears throat> 22. Again, like I said, the ages continue to change. I don't know who's following up. This is Dallas News, so I'm assuming they may have better information. Uh, police didn't find a cell phone with the body. Police determined that... Booker had been picked up in the 2800 block of Lag Lagao Street, Lo Lago Street, I'm saying Lagao Street in South Dallas. I'm not from Dallas, I'm from Houston, big difference. Um, three hours earlier by somebody in a light colored early 2000 Lincoln LS with front license plate, okay? Now, cell phone records were still active after death warrant, so I'm sure old buddy was using it and, and probably, who knows, doing what with it. Witness picked Lyles out of a photo lineup June 5th, told police he was known to frequent the 2800 block of Lagao Street, Lago Street. Why? 
to meet with transgender prostitutes. Now I made an assumption earlier on, and I made an assumption prior to it, and, and even in previous videos, I had questions about Booker's behavior. Now being a prostitute doesn't mean that you deserve to be killed. Being a sex worker, because we have to be PC since we're on YouTube, and we like the channel, right? We don't want to get, don't YouTube, don't take us down. Um, meeting with transgender prostitutes. This is a, a known area where they frequent, right? So why would Booker be there? Was she out there educating other transgender prostitutes on the dangers of their behavior? Was she out there saying, hey, you know, this is a dangerous spot to be in. You guys got to do better for you. Because, I mean, they just made her the face of, of, of uh, a big campaign. Uh, Booker just was, I mean, speaking to the entire city of Dallas, representing the LGBT community. Um made national news so there's some lack of awareness here and what i mean by that is that you've had this whole platform you've done all these things and then you go back to this environment and you say well yeah she could have been doing all that booker could have been doing these things but let me tell you i don't believe booker was doing that why because booker got picked up by someone booker got picked up so Booker wasn't out there informing anybody on the dangers of that lifestyle. Booker was participating in the lifestyle. Again, this is not justification for the death of Malaysia Booker. This is just me saying that I had questions about the character initially, and people tried to discredit me and say that I was wrong for saying what I said because I was being honest about how I felt. You can go check the previous two videos. I just wanted to do this to follow up because if I start a story, I want to stay on point and make sure I, you know, bring the conclusion of the story. And, you know, if this man gets, uh, you know, uh, prosecuted and, and, you know, put away, I'll probably follow up on that. That's the only reason I'm really talking about this because I do believe it was truly unfortunate. I, I do believe in the value of life. People change, but sometimes when you're engaging in actions that are high risk, you don't get that opportunity to change. Everybody's not so fortunate. Uh, but to finish that off, says another person confirmed that the champagne-colored Lincoln uh, is, was parked out of a West Dallas apartment building belonging to Lyles. Police were able to get a search warrant for his cell phone, record determined his phone was in the area that Booker was killed at the time. And then it was in the same area as Booker's phone afterwards. They did not ever say if they recovered Booker's cell phone. So again, this is the gentleman that Booker willingly got in the car with. What do you think that Booker got in that car for? I spoke on supplementing uh, the hormones and the surgeries and the things that it takes to transition, right? Look at this guy. And I'm sure there's been other many, many other sketchy characters that Booker has gotten in vehicles with. Again, am I condemning for the lifestyle? It's not a safe lifestyle. I know that now in this PC society, we try to justify sex workers. Sex workers, it's a thing. It's, it's, it's legit. Well, there's so many avenues. I mean, you go back to, trust me, Booker didn't get beat up, get some kind of head trauma, and then decide to go start walking the streets, getting in cars with strange men. This is something that's been going on. This is something that Booker's father probably knows has been going on. I'm sure he had to question where Booker was getting money to do these things. Again, it's very unfortunate. I hope this man gets thrown away. You never see the light of day again. Go ahead and inject him if you're gonna be a serial killer too. Man. Go ahead and finish him off. But all I'm saying is you cannot continue to nurture certain beliefs and just think everything is going to be hunky-dory. It's not a hate crime. It was maybe a self-hate crime because I'm sure that this gentleman is disgusted with himself for the things that he's been doing because apparently you see the connection. Uh, transgender people or I don't know, men who may be gay or whatever it may be. If you go back, there's some pictures of some of the people in other, art other articles. I didn't uh, put all of them up. All I'm saying is to say this, that it's unfortunate, but if you continue to encourage and nurture these dangerous lifestyles that certain people live and you say it's A-OK, -okay, and I'm not saying every transgender is out there, you know, walking the streets, but if you know that they are to 
fulfill this lifestyle or they're engaging in dangerous behaviors to, to transition or whatever it may be, and this is your friends, these are your people, these are whatever, then you need to have a real sit down conversation. And if they feel like it's necessary to do that, well, more power to them. But don't be surprised when other stories like this continue to happen. Now, I'm not as familiar with the other transgender that got killed in um, Dallas. I don't know if that person was doing the same thing, but I'm, sh I'm assuming that if this gentleman had contact with them, that he found them in a similar manner. And so what is that saying about what's happening in that community? Something to think about. Hit that comment section below, man. If you like the content, make sure you like, subscribe, let YouTube know you like the content, whether they don't like me or not, or they don't like the way I talk about things or not. Or maybe you don't like it. You can hit that dislike button. I really don't give a shit. But you and I met Honcho live every night, 10 p.m. Central from 10 to midnight and live every weekday morning, 10 a.m. to noon Central time. Then at 10, easiest way to remember. But I thank all of you for tuning in and watching the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because I really would like to know. But with that being said, <clears throat> y'all be cool like y'all be cool. I'm, I'm out.